Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember Tom fondly. Nobody gives a about this video except for me. <laughs> oh, nobody cares. Um, okay, so. <laughs> you see from the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the Pat McGrath palette. I don't think anybody cares at this point because it's already been out, but I will say though that I actually did pick this up on day one on the Pat McGrath website. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, why have you been sitting on it? Well, baby, let me tell you, this took forever to ship to me, okay? Forever. And I should have known. I Every time I buy something directly from this website, I should know better. <laughs> but I don't, okay? I don't. And this is, this is definitely the last time that I'm going to be picking up something personally from this website. Unless there's a really good sale and I kind of need to pick something up. But beyond that, I really just, I'm so... <sighs> I'm so infuriated with how long things take, you know? It's just annoying, it really is. I think it took overall like maybe five weeks. I'm not even being facetious when I say that, it took five weeks. And if there was an option to pay for expedited shipping, I would have done it. But that's the fun thing over at Pat McGrath. You can't pay for that. It's only standard and it makes it seem like, oh, it's a deal for you. Little do you know, you're never gonna see this again. <laughs> Because I thought, oh man, like after like almost a month, I did get some traction and I noticed that my label was created, but then they sat on that shit for a long time. A long time. So with that said, I don't think anybody cares about it, but I spent my own money on it and I want to make a video on it because I have some thoughts. <laughs> Okay, so with that said, let me show you the products that I did pick up. I got the big uh, Starstruck Splendor Face and Eyeshadow Palette, the one little face trios, as well, two little five pan palettes. I got the Bronze Ecstasy and the Lunar Nightshade. So in today's video, I'm just gonna focus on the bigger palette as well as the base palette. So I'm not gonna be talking about these palettes with the exception of actually the Bronze Ecstasy one, but um, I am gonna feature these in a try-on later in the month, so we'll talk about them when we talk about them. That said, let's talk about the face palette first. The Pat McGrath Divine Blush Bronze and Glow Trio retails for $52. This is an essential cheek palette of a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter for a radiant glow. So this palette comes in three different shades, but I have it in the Forever Nude. And the reason why I chose Forever Nude is because these shades are completely new to me. I have a different shade of bronzer, I don't have this blush shade, and I believe the highlighter is made specifically for this palette. So this was like a no Brainer. So let's start with the bronzer first. Now, if you remember my bronzer declutter video, I think I mentioned that I had a Pat McGrath bronzer and I just couldn't remember what the fuck happened to it. Well, funny story, I put it in a wrong drawer and it just like went to sleep. <laughs> And then I opened it and went, oh, that's where you are. Hi, baby. So whew, I blew the dust off it and I started using it again. And I realized I really do like this bronzer. I think it's very, very nice. I have it in the shade Naked Desire, which is a very beautiful neutral tone bronzer. I lean more on the cool side, but I love bronzers that are truly cool tone or at the very least neutral. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because this is definitely a warmer tone bronzer. And I don't like warm tone bronzers because it just looks so fucking weird on me. It makes me look like I got a bad fake tan. <laughs> I belong in the Jersey Shore and I should have some sort of bump it on my head. And um, I'm happy to say that's not the case. This bronzer is very, very beautiful. It gives you that perfect amount of warmth for someone that is a cool tone goblin like myself. When applied to the face, it's pigmented, but not too pigmented where you feel like, oh shit, what am I going to do? I got to blend it out. You have to build up this product to get it to its full opacity, but as you start to blend it out, it gets a little bit softer, but it doesn't immediately disappear. It's perfect. I really love that it took my potato, <laughs> raw potato looking face and gave me a little bit of life. It's perfect. I, there's not a bad thing that I can say about it. Longevity has been great. I didn't notice any patchiness, any muddiness, any weirdness. I didn't feel like it was overtaking the blush or getting all funky. It's great. It's perfect. Linda Evangelista, I love her. And it's funny because I would have completely ignored this shade had I seen a single of this because I'm, oh, it's warm. It's not going to work for me. No, this is a perfect warm tone bronzer if you are cool tone. 
it's fucking fantastic. Now, moving on to the blush, I really, I have a lot of my blushes in front of me because I was kind of panicking. I was like, do I have this one? Just making sure that I didn't have this one. And I don't. This is the Naked Peony Blush. And I'll be honest, when I first applied it, it was on the lighter side, which I'm not mad about. As I started to build up the product, I noticed that I had this really beautiful, like built-in highlighter effect. I was like, oh shit, this has some satin in it. This product must have some micro shimmer, must have something in it to kind of give me this beautiful glow. It doesn't. It's a matte product, which then freaked me the fuck out because I was like, what did I, did I, did I do something wrong? Maybe I used a different brush and I didn't wipe it off. No bitch, because I bought a new brush. <laughs> so during the Sephora sale, one of my 75 fucking orders, I ordered the Brush 99, which is a very beautiful blush brush. And this was the first time I ever fucking used it. I don't have anything on here. So I don't know where this built-in highlighter came from. I'm not complaining. I think it's beautiful. It definitely gives you like a very light pinky kind of a glow, but I was very perturbed. <laughs> Where is this coming from? The call is coming from inside the house. I kind of got freaked out. But as I started to build up the color, yes, the highlighter definitely became a little bit more noticeable. I still felt like it was just a very beautiful, just a oh, soft moment. She is straight up like a watercolor dream. She reminds me of Chantecaille in that way. And I fucking love it. I love it. This is so pretty. I'm also a huge sucker for pink blushes. Like the pinkier, the better. The more bubble gum it is, the more I fucking love. Ugh, I love it. Now I was trying to think like, okay, like just in terms of how many blushes I do own from the brand, I think what comes kind of close to it is the Aphrodite Amour, which is like the two-tone blushes. Except this blush I feel like is more on the cooler side as opposed to this blush that is definitely on the warmer side. I think a combination of the blush on the bronzer, just, ugh, it, it's, perfect. It's fucking vacation glow. It's everything that you want it to be, except you don't leave your house. So, I mean, for some that can be really fun or others depressing. I don't know. I flip a coin. <laughs> for me, it depends on the day. <laughs> But this is really pretty though. I love it. I don't have a really bad thing to say about it other than like, okay, yeah, you gotta build it up. But once you build it up, she's golden. And she's like, not too much. She's not too garish. She's just perfect. She has a bit of a wild side, but you don't know it until you hit her with some water. Kind of like a mogwai. <laughs> we love her. I'm spawning gremlins, bitch, and I can't help it. I love it. This is great. So the next, <laughs> the next shade I wanna talk about is a highlighter. Ma'am, excuse me. I like this. I love Pat McGrath highlighters, except for the last highlighters that she released. Those that came out of the fucking pan. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not having that. This has such a beautiful pinky gold reflect. I fucking love it. I think it's so beautiful. It's so soft, but it's also incredibly blinding. It shows that I mean business. We love her. She doesn't emphasize any weird texture. She's not chock full of micro glitter where things are just kind of getting stuck in your pores. Everything just looks absolutely perfect and I'm in love and I'm happy. And I have to say, I think out of all the little face palettes that I've ever purchased from the brand, this is by far the best one. I can actually see myself using this over and over and over and over again. Now, I think you can only pick this up on the website as well as Ulta. This is definitely worth checking out. If you have some points to burn, that's even better. Well, I'm not mad that I spent, actually, I didn't really spend full price on this because I did get it for 10% off because every time, and I think that's what always lures me in for Pat McGrath. And I guess maybe that's their way of saying, sorry, bitch. Um, <laughs> we're not going to ship your shit out to you for a very long time. That's why they're giving me a 10% discount. I see what you're doing, Pat. I see what you're doing, mother. All right. And I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I love saving money. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think this is by far the best face palette, like I mentioned, and this is definitely worth exploring and checking out. And if you can get it at Ulta, like I know they're probably ramping up to have like that 20% off for like everybody coupon that comes out a few times a year. This is one of the products I would say pick up for sure. If you did buy it for full price, I don't think you're gonna be upset at it, but you know, save, save yourself some money. It's the holidays, okay? Um, and make sure you treat yourself. But yeah, this is perfect. If you're uncooked chicken like me and you're afraid that this might be a little bit too warm, don't be, she's beautiful. She's perfect, she's everything. And I'm just happy, I'm happy. Cause I feel like um, it's very, very hit or miss with Pat McGrath and I've, this is a winner. This is a fucking winner, winner chicken dinner. We love her. Okay, so let's talk about the big daddy here. The Mothership Bijou Brilliant Starstruck Splendor Full Face Palette. Retails for $76. Discover a curated spectrum of nine opulent eyeshadows and two divine blushes designed for full face artistry. Crafted with advanced formulas that blend and build superbly, this palette provides the flexibility to create looks that range from soft shimmer to full on glamour. So, oh, you know what? The one thing I do want to say that I actually failed to say about this palette is that I really don't like the overall packaging on these guys. I feel like these are Bridgerton 
Bridgerton rejects. It's the shit that was left on the cutting room floor for Bridgerton. That's kind of the vibe for it. But anyway, just something about like the pink bow and the blue gems that are just giving me those weird Bridgerton vibes, which then makes me get visibly upset because that collection was garbage, minus that weird little hat box thing. Those blushes in there are fucking fantastic, and those were coming into the grave with me. But beyond that, though, the packaging is truly just garbage. All that to say, we don't really give a shit about the outside packaging because we can easily get some contact paper and just fucking cover it up if I'm really that upset about it. So. <laughs> I will shut up. Anyway, when you do open her up, you get a full size mirror here. And then this is your beautiful color story along with your two blushes. Now I do have the blush Nymphette, so I didn't use that. But on this side of the face, I did use the Coral Cosmos. Girl, bitch, it's good. She's pretty. I think in comparison to the blush that's in this palette, this is definitely a little bit more pigmented. So if you don't feel like building up too much, she's gonna be your bitch right here. But again, what I love about Pat McGrath blush is that as you start to kind of blend it out, it just looks so seamless. Everything looks so perfect. So initially I was like, oh, this color is very bright. But as I started to blend it out and it got a little bit softer, <sighs> bitch, I'm very happy. Now kind of the fun thing about this shade is that on this side, I noticed, oh my God, there's like a built-in highlighter effect. Did not happen on this side at all, which really now just creeps me out further. I guess that means I definitely exude, <laughs> I definitely exude highlighter. <laughs> Cut me in half, squeeze me out, highlighter's gonna come out. Disgusting, I know, but honestly, kind of everything. <laughs> Anyway, this blush operated very much like the blush in this palette, except it was a little bit more pigmented. So I didn't feel like I needed to kind of go in a couple more times to build up opacity. Other than that, blends very beautifully. Didn't emphasize any weird texture, any dry spots. It meshed beautifully with the bronzer. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. It's very, very beautiful. Now the shade up here, Nymphette, I probably have that shade like four times over at this point. It's a very beautiful blush. I think it's one of my favorites from the brand. Do I need this many Nymphettes? No, I don't. So I'm definitely gonna be declaring some of those blushes in the future because I don't need that many. But yeah, blushes, happy, very, very happy with that. Now, moving on to the eyeshadow palette, this is like the standard basic bitch Pat McGrath starter set, you know? You always have warm tone browns, you have a pink, you have a green. There's nothing unique or fun about this color story. And the only reason why I really wanted to pick up this is because there was the addition of blushes in the palette. And I figured, you know what? Let's see how this is gonna work out. Because when it comes to these type of holiday palettes, it's very hit or miss. I feel like it's every other year the collection's good for me. Now I know some people just love it consistently and that's great, but for me, I always have some sort of fucking issue with it and I'm happy to say that there were no issues. So if this is kind of like makeup Groundhog's Day, I didn't see my shadow. All right. <laughs> Spring is approaching y'all. Okay. Like I'm actually really, really excited about this palette because I thought, okay, this is going to be bullshit. No, it's not. So there are four mattes in this palette. And I would say that's probably my biggest complaint is that one, the mattes are, I don't know, they all look the same in every Pat McGrath palette. Every Pat McGrath palette has like these same core colors. And it's just so frustrating because I just want it to be a little bit different, but whatever it's not. The other thing that kind of gets a little bit annoying is that the mattes are kind of a little bit too similar in tone when you do combine some of them together like it does I don't want to say it's muddy because not necessarily muddy you can see like a small difference between the two shades but you really have to look though you really have to look and kind of like close your eyes and squint kind of like looking at a magic eye just to see the difference sometimes and that can be a little bit frustrating so I found what worked best for me is actually using my pressed powder which I've been fucking loving as you can tell it's pretty much all of this is gone at this point. My CoverGirl powder, it looks horrible. Uh <laughs> But it's what I set my face with today. And I was using this to kind of blend out some of the darker edges of the eyeshadow and it just worked perfectly. So uh, when in doubt, just use your setting powder and that will soften shit up in a breeze. Because that's the one thing is that her mattes are very, very pigmented and often look very heavy on me. They look very dark and brooding and I fucking love it. But I definitely need a little bit of lightness. Otherwise it looks like somebody popped me in the face. So using that CoverGirl powder definitely softens stuff up, which is great. The other complaint that I have about this palette is that while yes, these are you know a little bit too dark for my crease area, they're not dark enough for my outer corner. So I find myself having to look for other palettes just to deepen up the outer corner or at the very least kind of give myself a liner shade because some of these shades are just, I don't know, I guess like they're too medium. Like I wish there was something in this palette to just deepen stuff up. And for the $76 price tag, like that's a lot. Like the fact that I have to look at other palettes to complete something, 
that's not great. But quality wise though, this has probably have been some of my favorite Pat McGrath like holiday palettes in a long fucking time. Like, so it's like I'm torn because I really enjoyed working with this palette. It's just there are so many things that I wish I can fix. And I think like, is that really technically worth the price tag? Not really. This is definitely more of like get it on sale kind of a palette. Now that said, the remainder of the palette is chock full of shimmers. And of course we have like the standard gold ones, right? The bronze, like whatever. We always have those. But the green in this though, <laughs> the green bitch is so pretty. These two green shades are probably some of my favorite green shades that I've ever used in a Pat McGrath palette. And I just love how beautiful and soft they are. They work together so well. And I just love like this fun little green kind of mutant eye that I'm giving you. It's so fucking pretty. I did use a little bit of NYX glitter glue when applying these shades. And I noticed like a little bit like a little tiny bit of fallout, but it wasn't like anything too serious. I was able to brush it away and I barely have any sort of glitter bukkake on this side, which is fucking fantastic. Now I wish I could say the same <laughs> for this shade up here. So we have like this pink shade, which I believe is opalescent moonstone. Oof, girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. First of all, this is a very beautiful shade. It's a very beautiful duochrome that when you look at it in the light has like a very beautiful like pink purpley blue shift. When you have it on the lid, it definitely comes out a little bit more blue green, which is kind of cute, but it's a little bit different than the swatch that was kind of like, mm. I'm not loving it too much because I do wish that it had like that very beautiful pink tone, but I'm not mad about it either because I think it's really, really beautiful. I think what is very annoying about the shade is the amount of glitter bukkake. Wow. Okay, I know I talked at great length about the Odin's Eye uh, holographic shade that just fucked my ass up. Fucked my ass up. I'm still finding sparkles in places that I shouldn't be finding sparkles, uh, but I am. And I kind of feel like this is a little bit of the same, but not as severe as the Odin's Eye. This explodes and no matter how I'm applying it whether I'm using my finger or like the tiniest fucking brush right something that's like super super small I'm still getting it all over my face and that is infuriating so I purposely did my base first right and then I did my eye look I fucking regret it um, because the amount of sparkle that I have here it's ludicrous <laughs> Like it's so fucked up looking. I look like I just ate Tinkerbell's ass. I really hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And of course these sparkles are not easy to clean. Like I tried with a fluffy brush. I tried with a smaller brush, something a little bit more dense. No, like these things, they fucking stick. They stick, they're gonna live with me. We are now one. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And I really, really wish that brands that have like these really impactful shimmers, I don't know, stop making it so like loose. It's like a loose stool. Like I just don't fucking like it. Make it a little bit more stiff, but not too stiff where I feel like it's hard pan and gross. Just bake it in the oven for a little bit longer. I don't know how they fucking make eyeshadows. <laughs> But I need it to be a little bit more put together. Like she is losing her shit and it shows, okay? <laughs> I feel like this shadow represents me in my 20s, okay? I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was everywhere, all right? Everywhere. And you're probably saying, bitch, you still are. I was worse. <laughs> I was worse. Anyway, I am not a fan, but I love the color. <laughs> I actually really love how pretty my eye look looks. Even though it looks like Tinkerbell shit all over my face, I still love this look because what I like about this shimmer is that it has like a transparent-y kind of a base, right? So it definitely looks a little bit more like whimsical, a little bit more celestial. So I'm kind of like giving you like this editorial alien slut. <laughs> There's something that's really whimsy and fun about this. And normally I really wouldn't like the fact that the glitter kind of goes a little bit above my crease and looking all kind of fucked up. But like, I don't mind it though. Because it doesn't have any sort of a base, it just looks really fucking pretty. I don't know, like I like it. I just hate the fallout, but I'm also okay with it. I don't know, like I said, I'm kind of going back and forth. <laughs> Because I love it, but I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it, but I love it though. I mean, I really, really like the looks that I created with this palette and I can't wait to continue to play with this palette. Is it my favorite thing that was launched this year? No, but I think for Pat McGrath and considering how the quality is so fucking up in the air, this is really nice. I really, really enjoyed it. Like I don't feel like I wasted my money, even though this literally took a carrier pigeon <laughs> to fucking get to my house, I'm not mad about it. I really enjoy the quality of this. Now, where I would put it in my scale of like, I don't know, of like my Pat McGrath ranking, it would probably be more in the middle. It's not like the best thing I've ever used, it's not the worst thing I've ever used, but it's definitely better than say, some of the bigger Mothership palettes that I have used in the past. So it's somewhere like middle, but like towards the top. <laughs> Just. <laughs> 
So that said, the only real complaint that I have about this palette, other than the unnecessary rogue glitter bukkake, is that I have to look at other palettes if I want a shade that's going to deepen up the outer corner or use as a liner. So for both looks, I wanted to kind of line my eyes and I knew that none of the colors were going to work. So what I wind up using was the bronze ecstasy palette and I use this shade. I think it's Merlot Mystery, Merlot Mystique. I think that's what it was. I used this shade as a liner shade and it was perfect. I kind of wish that shade was in the bigger palette. I would feel good about that. Um, but the fact that it's not, it kind of, you know, takes some points off of it. So while I can't really comment too much about these palettes, uh, when I did use that little shade as a liner, I felt like it worked really well. It's very beautiful, very opaque. I didn't feel like I had to go back in to build up the color. Everything was wonderful. And uh, so far, so good. We're loving her. I'm happy with this collection, which is something that I thought I would never, ever say in my life, um, considering how, how annoyed I get <laughs> with this brand and how just oh just they irk me in such a fucking way sometimes um but this is great this was really good i can't wait to use the two other little five pan palettes those will be coming out soon um but yeah i think if you were to pick this up i don't think you're going to be upset about it i think that these are definitely worth checking out and definitely some of the better holiday stuff that has come out this year so i don't regret it i wish i didn't waste my time with the website um because even though i was getting like a 10 percent off the shipping and shit is just too it's too much i feel like this happens every release and um um, yeah, so I think this will be the last time. I say that now, but I, the thing that gets very annoying is that sometimes certain products are not available in certain retailers, so you kind of have to go to the site. So in that case, then I guess I'll have to go for those specific items or if there's like a really good fucking sale. Just saying. <laughs> But for the most part, I think I'm just going to wait for like, for it to come to Ulta or Sephora because, uh, yeah, it's just, I can at least rely on that shipping. Even though my shit comes up all fucked up sometimes, I'm broken. At least I get it in a timely fashion as opposed to this, which is like five, six weeks. Like, that's bad. That's bad. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised and I can't believe that I am pleasantly surprised because usually I hate this shit so much, but I'm happy. I know. Who would have thought? Who would have fucking thought? Anyway, now I would love to hear from y'all. Uh, let me know, did you pick up any of these products uh, during the Sephora sale or did you get them on launch day and did you also get them around the same time that I did? <laughs> let me know. Oh my god, that was a little piggy snort. <laughs> Anyway, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button three and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and so many beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but disgusting garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we could be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye.